All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a vest for armor. This one is specifically for a Mandalorian costume and I am wanting a feminine look. So I chose this pattern 2851 by Simplicity and I am altering this. I didn't leave very much room for my neck. I might have to go through afterwards and alter that. I also left some space for a sleeve. And as you can tell on some of these, I didn't follow it quite exactly because I don't need it as form-fitting as the pattern calls for. And right here on both these sides, I left a little bit of room for some Velcro if I'm going to decide to add Velcro. So these are what my pattern pieces look like. I'm going to sew them together and then we're going to take a look and see if I need to alter anything. <laughs> Okay, so I had my mom help me pin this, and we've got it pinned on both sides equally. We're going to take the pins out on this side, and then use this side as a guide on how tight we're making it. And then once we add the Velcro on this side, we're going to go through and add the Velcro on this side. Alright, so because we didn't really follow the pattern piece exactly, you're going to have pieces like this. So you're just going to kind of want to take off as little bit as possible and then just kind of make adjustments as you go. This kind of sticks out so I may sew this down a little bit further and trim some of this off. Okay, so what I've done is I pinned my Velcro on and so you can kind of see if you've got it even. This one I just pinned straight down. So if you're a guy, you don't really need to worry about your hips, but if you're a girl, you might want to take this in just a little bit so it's a little bit tighter on your waist. I forgot to mention earlier in this video that if you're a guy, you can use a tank top as your pattern instead. So here's what my armor is looking like. I've gone ahead and drilled holes in it. Now after you drill holes in your armor, you're going to hold them to your vest and have a friend mark where they're going to attach. So I had a friend go ahead and mark where I'm attaching holes. So once you have all your holes marked, you're going to cut them and attach eyelets. And then once you make your eyelets, you're going to attach your armor pieces with Chicago screws. And once you do that, all your armor should come together nicely. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them.